The family of 15-year-old Theodore Johnson, overcome by grief and anger, came to see for themselves the house where he was shot early this morning. They didn't have far to go. They lived just across the street. The home, along with two others on that block, belonged to Robert Little, a chemistry professor who had lived here just a week and a half. The 15-year-old dead boy, called Rock by his family, worked for Robert Little, chipping old paint off the walls for two or three dollars a day. The Johnson family says Rock went to Little's house this morning simply to collect some back pay. He did work for him, and Mr. Little hasn't paid him yet, and he has a policy of going and coming. And the only time you can catch him is when you see his truck in the area, and that is the only time my brother has saw him. I'd like to know, how did he get into this house over here? The house is boarded up all in the back, it's boarded up in the front. How could he get in there without the man letting him in there? Did he work for you? Off and on. Why did you shoot him? It was uh, very dark, and uh, my house was being robbed. I wish I hadn't shot him. The boy's family says that he was just there to collect money that you owed him. 4.10 in the morning? Little spent this morning packing up and moving out under heavy police protection. He says the Johnson family has made threats against his life and property. Despite the protests of the Johnson family, police have so far not brought any charges against Little. At this time, I believe uh, the state's attorney office has ruled it a justifiable homicide, but the con investigation is continuing. I'm Fran Fanchel on the scene in Baltimore.